If you place a pill bug in a complex maze, how will it navigate its way through? Today, we're going to uncover the secrets of the pill bug. I was amazed one evening after a rainstorm to find the flower bed in front of my house teeming with pill bugs. Some were notably large. They were so big that I couldn't resist catching a few. Ta-da! Under the microscope, the pill bug looked like this. When I prodded them with tweezers, they curled up into a ball. What kind of creature is a pill bug? Although it has bug in its name, many assume it's an insect or a polypod. To my surprise, pill bugs are crustaceans. Pill bugs are terrestrial crustaceans that long ago migrated from sea to land. While much of their body structure has adapted to terrestrial life, they retain gills, typical of aquatic crustaceans, for breathing. They require moist environments to breathe, which is why pill bugs are usually found under stones in dark, damp places. I suppose the pill bugs I saw were so active after the rain because the conditions were just right. Some species thrive in dry environments. If you flip a pill bug over and examine its abdomen, you'll notice a white spot, right? This is the pleopodal lung, a specialized respiratory organ that allows pill bugs to breathe in low moisture environments. It's wow. quite remarkable, isn't it? The pill bug belongs to the order Isopoda, a category of crustaceans that also includes the wharf roach and the deep sea giant isopod. These creatures are sometimes dubbed the cockroaches of the sea, but it might be more accurate to call them sea pill bugs. Though similar to pill bugs, sow bugs differ as they cannot curl into a ball and have a long, forked tail. Let's take a closer look at the pill bug's body. The body of a pill bug is divided into the head, which is at the front, the thorax, which consists of seven body segments, and the abdomen. The head features a pair of antennae. Most crustaceans have two pairs of antennae, but the pill bug, adapted to terrestrial life, has evolved to have just one pair. And this little black dot here is the pill bug's eye. Cute. Turning the pill bug upside down, you'll see it has quite a few legs. Each of the seven thoracic segments bears a pair of legs, totaling seven pairs. Most members of the order Isopoda also have seven pairs of legs. Pill bugs use their mouths to consume fallen leaves and dead matter, enriching the soil like earthworms do. Inspecting the abdomen, it's covered with flat appendages that differ between sexes. Males have some appendages elongated into reproductive organs, while females have uniformly flat ones. Female pill bugs also carry their eggs in their abdomen, similar to how shrimp and crayfish do. Pill bugs really resemble other crustaceans, don't they? I once watched a video from an international program showing pill bugs avoiding obstacles by alternating left and right movements. Curious to test this, I created a maze and observed their behavior. Left, right, left, right, left, right. They really did alternate their turns when avoiding obstacles. However, after several trials, it appeared that while they do tend to change direction upon encountering an obstacle, the pattern isn't strictly left-right. It seems more like an ingrained behavior that likely served as an advantageous survival strategy. Isn't life mysterious? That's all for this video, Unraveling Mysteries with Science. This was Fishy Science.